Hey everyone, I thought I'd give you a walkthrough of the whole house. We've talked about individual rooms and done some great videos that go into a lot of detail on certain rooms. So when we're in those rooms, I'll put up um, the name of the episode on the screen. So you can go back and watch those if you haven't yet. Uh, they're really worth a watch because we talk about some of the interesting things we're finding. Um, we're speculating about the history. There's a lot of things we don't know yet that we're hoping to find out um, from the previous owners, but we still don't know yet. So there's a lot of fun uh, guesswork involved right now, and you can leave your ideas in the comments. It's really fun to read through and see what people are saying. Salut. We're Beth. And Patrick. And we're moving to France. We're transforming an old townhouse into our home and an artsy event space. So come on along. This is the current state of the house. It's really real. I haven't staged it. I, I mean, honestly, I haven't even cleaned most of the house yet. This is its current state. This is really how I've been living in it. So with this being the before video, that should make for some really dramatic before and after videos later on when we have things cleaned up, um, renovated, furnished. It'll be quite a difference. So let's go take a look. So I'm at the front door right now. Um, you might hear cars going by. It's a pretty busy street and it's pretty loud here through this front door. I'll show you why in a second. When you first walk in, this is what you see. Right now you see my laundry that needs to go to the laundromat. Bags, coats, things hanging on doorknobs and things because we don't have any hooks yet. And you also see this floor that's in quite a state. Oh, and some deliveries I just received. This is all bathroom stuff for our um, bathroom renovation we're gonna do upstairs. But anyway, um, so front door, you walk in, that's the electrical cabinet. This is the main hallway that has a floor that is in really terrible shape. Um, it's historic, but not in our minds worth saving. This type of flooring is not that unique or special or valuable. It's a very common floor tile design and we're gonna replace it with tile of the same type and the same pattern, but it'll be nice and new and even and in good shape. It's just really worn out. There's loose tiles, they're flaking away, they're just really bad. Um, so what I was saying about the... About the noise, um, you might have just heard people walking by chatting and then also those extremely loud motorbikes that are so irritating. Anyway, so at our house here, it's extremely loud because you can see how much light is coming in under the doorway. That part of the steps is really worn down from, you know, couple hundred years of people walking through that doorway and it's just there's a big gap under the door we also have a mail slot that lets open air and sound in and then the windows these are the old windows that are single pane glass so all of that makes for a very loud front entrance way so one thing we're thinking of doing is putting in another set of doors um, to create a little vestibule at the front. So from the front hallway, if you turn to your left, you'll see the biggest living room at the front of the house, um, the one we call the Grand Salon, the large living room. It's not actually that large, but it's our largest one, so that's what we call it. it has an amazing old fireplace, which we think is original to the house. This flooring, which we honestly did not really like in the beginning, but has totally grown on us. It's very bold, um, but it's cool. It definitely makes a statement, but it's not original. It's 
not we don't know exactly how old it is but it's not that old it's not as old as other floors in the house this paneling is also not original it's a new um, replacement again we're not sure exactly when it was replaced but it's not the original and it's not wood it's some kind of fiberboard but when we clean it up and paint it I think it's gonna look just as good so there's a set of double doors here um, I've been keeping this one on the left closed for a little bit of privacy because we don't have a curtain on the front window at the moment and people do peek in when they walk by and this leads into our petit salon the small salon at the back of the house and it's going to be in the future um, one of the main spaces we use for our little art workshops. I say little because they will be very small events, like I'm thinking eight to 10 people, very small. So it'll be um, kind of an art studio salon in the sense of the word where people talk about art and events and cultural things and um, I think it's going to be a great little room for that and it looks out onto the garden we have a beautiful chandelier in this room already but unfortunately it needs to be rewired so we can't use it yet so we temporarily have a beautiful mirror an old portrait. These things will be changed out as we get new stuff that fits better in the room. Like I said, I didn't stage it. <laughs> this is all my junk in here. This is the room I spend the most time in at the moment. From here, you can walk through this doorway Notice this awesome tile that is it stars or building blocks? It's like that, like it flips back and forth like an optical illusion. Very cool. Um, these cement tiles we think are original to the house. They're much older than these. So you walk through here and you're in the salle à manger or the dining room. Um, back to your right is the front door. This is a beautiful room with this amazing fireplace. Um, the stained glass doors that go to the back garden. Another beautiful ceiling rose. And beautiful green tile. has beautiful wood paneling that, I mean, it's not that beautiful at the moment, but it will be once we get it all painted, it's gonna be great. So back through these doors, that leads to the back garden. Sorry if I'm panning too fast. This doorway leads to the utility area in the back. There's an odd step up here, some old linoleum we're going to replace, a lot of junk that I had to move out of the kitchen, um, our monster of a boiler, that little staircase leads to an interesting loft type situation, and then this is a little cellar um, that's going to be used as our, um, like our wine cellar. The hallway continues that way. This is the back door, or side door, I guess, to the garden. And if you go in here, this is the kitchen. It smells amazing in here because I have the windows open, and the air is so fresh outside, and you can also smell the flowers. There's so many flowers out there. I wish we had smell o vision so you could actually smell it. It smells so good. So the kitchen is in quite a state. 
I just got through cleaning it pretty hard um, and this is how it looks. This isn't clean. Um, we're definitely going to be replacing these wall panels, taking down the wallpaper, taking away that sink, that old vent hood, all that's going away. We are keeping the cabinets. And it's a great size room. It just needs a lot of work that we will hopefully get to in the not too distant future. So when you leave the kitchen and come back down this hallway, if you look there, that's the dining room and then in the very back is the petit salon. There's a big storage cabinet. I do love these built-in cabinets. And then in the corner is a little tiny bathroom. Interestingly, it is just a toilet. Literally, just a toilet. There's no sink or anything else in this bathroom. So we're gonna put in one of those little tiny corner sinks probably and make this a cute little powder room bath. There is, there is a nice storage cabinet again. Do love those. At the end of this hallway, you can see I left the ladder there from where I was having to deal with the wacky old fuse box when the electricity was out at the beginning of my stay. There's a door there that leads to the stairwell area and there's a very weird trapdoor cellar right here. So that is a door that lifts up. And when you walk down those stairs, it's a little cellar that has our water hookup. And it has this railing around it that we're not fond of. And so we want to try to re reimagine this space a bit. Obviously we will be keeping a trap door, but we want to get rid of the railing and make it a more usable space. We're thinking of this being like a utility type hallway where we park, park our bikes and the flooring from this door all the way down the hall, all the way into the utility room and the kitchen all in the same flooring. So check out my video about my kitchen plans to see what I'm thinking there. So you come out of this doorway and you're back near the front entrance. And then here's another big bright window. Here's the stairwell going up to Le Premier Etage, the first floor. In the US we would call it the second floor. But here it's called the first floor and where I'm standing it's called the ground floor. So as you come through here, you'll notice the floor is in really bad shape. There's a part here that was removed, probably to work on some um, plumbing or something. I do love these old um, copper pipes, cast iron, I think copper, I don't know. Whatever they are, they're really cool looking. Um, you got a little, little tiny space under the stairs. And then here's another shot of this flooring, this linoleum is peeling up, it needs to be removed. We're probably gonna have a professional come in and deal with that because it's supposedly um, asbestos. Now back here is the library and if you haven't checked out the video about the library, you really have to. It's amazing, it's been one of our most popular videos and it's a really cool room that you've gotta see more about. And this is the doorway to the library, but it's very dark in there. So I've got to go and open up the volet, the shutters. I usually keep those closed in there because I'm not using that room at all. And they're right on the street where people walk by. Also, we still have no idea what this is. Anybody know? It's a little bit of light. 
but let me open one of these. You can get a better picture. There's an amazing painted part above the doorway. And then this even more amazing, what we originally thought was a dragon, but I think might actually be a salamander because that has a whole association with King Francis I um, that ruled here. And so it's, I mean, we, we really wanna know what this is all about and why it was put here. It's so amazing. And it was the inspiration for our logo, our Austin Tomboise logo. I drew that based on this little guy. So this room is, I think it's gotta be our favorite, both mine and Patrick's. It's just so interesting. And to find out more about why, you've gotta check out the video that I will put the name of right here on the screen. It's gonna be like his office, Patrick's office, and also kind of like a little lounge area. Look at this amazing fireplace. So he'll have a desk in here, but we'll also have um, some tables and chairs, and it'll just be a magical, amazing place to sit in the evening and have a drink and have a conversation. Let's go take a closer look at that fireplace. If you've watched any of our other videos, I'm sure you've seen this, but it's worth showing again because it's just so amazing. Ooh, lots of dust on there. Like I said, I haven't cleaned everything. It's just the most spectacular fireplace to be in a home of this size, you know? It's really amazing. They obviously put a lot of money into this and there's got to be some story about, you know, why they chose the decorative elements that they chose. And we just can't wait to learn more about it. So this part up here, we've been told, is the same, the fire-breathing salamander that represents King Francis I. And then there's what appear to be angels, but I honestly have no idea. That's just what they look like to me. And then these tiles have more of the fire-breathing salamanders. They look like dragons, that's what we thought they were at first until we learned that that fire-breathing salamander was the symbol for King Francis. Green is my favorite color, as you already know if you've watched any of our other videos. So of course, I am absolutely loving all the green tile in this house. Now this corner of the room is amazing as well. There's a bookshelf and there are these sculptural elements and painted elements that are just amazing. All of this red part was a surprise to us. We uncovered it when we started removing the fabric. Why was it covered up? We still don't know, but we hope to find out. What does it symbolize? We don't know. For some fun speculation, watch this video. And then another amazing element of this room, it has a painted ceiling. Those of you who watch um, the Chateau Diaries with Stephanie Jarvis, um, her chateau, Chateau Lalande, they're renovating a chapel that looks surprisingly like this in certain places. Um, it has a similar painting style, which they've determined to be silver leaf um, on some of the elements. And so the um, elements 
that are painted on the red background. We've also had people speculating that that might be silver leaf. And then also the painted ceiling looks very similar to painted patterned elements in her chapel. So was this a religious room of some kind, a family chapel? We don't know. We're still hoping to find out. Give us your guesses. So that concludes the ground floor or first floor as they'd say here in France. And we will now go up to the second floor. Oh, I messed that up. So this is what we would call the first floor, but in France, they would call it the ground floor. And now we'll be going upstairs to what they would call here le premier étage or the first floor which we would call the second floor in the states it gets kind of confusing sometimes so we've just come up the stairs there's a little tiny landing here with a big window i usually leave the bole open on that one so it lets in a nice amount of light and it's upstairs so there's not really a privacy issue. I want to show you the beautiful hardware on this window. Okay, so from the landing upstairs, um, when you come up the stairs straight ahead is a funny little new technology in a very old house situation. That's a repeater for the Wi-Fi. And then this room is going to be my um, little art studio craft room. And we uncovered some awesome wallpaper. Still not quite sure what we're going to do with that, but um, there's a whole video about that. If you continue through this room, you end up in this little hallway. The fancy bedroom's over there. The biggest bathroom is in here, following an odd little room with some storage cabinets, a door with glass windows, more storage in a big bathroom. So right now it only has um, the tub. We're gonna redo this to include a shower. Basically everything in here will be going away at some point and we'll get a full makeover. This door over here, strangely enough, leads to the attic, the real one, the big one at the top of the house. There's a hookup over here where we're probably gonna put um, our washing machine and then use this as a laundry room. Um, the configuration isn't quite ideal, but I think I can make it work. When you come back out of that laundry room, storage room. So there's my arts and crafts room again, my studio atelier. Straight ahead, it breaks off into two bedrooms. There's this one, which is the one I'm staying in right now. Um, it has a built-in cabinet, an old fireplace, what's been turned into a walk-in closet, and a bed nook. And this makes us think that this bedroom is very old, much like the one we call the fancy bedroom. Um, it has the same kind of bed nook with a door in it. And then um, it has the very old fireplace, same kind of built-in cabinets, wood paneling around the window. So we thought maybe there was some more um, boiserie hiding here under the wallpaper. So I just took some off to check, but no, it's just plaster. There is, however, something hiding behind the wallpaper above the doorway. I'm trying to keep this room pretty nice and not turn it into too much of a mess because it's the room that our friends are going to be staying in when they arrive next month and so i i want it to be nice for them so i haven't completely torn it apart but the way we know that there's something hiding there 
is because if you look up here, there's what looks like an old transom window. So I don't know why they would have covered it up on the back. We don't really know what's going on there. So we want to do a little investigation and maybe uncover it and have a nice um, light catching window up there. So, if you, so here's, here's where we came from. There's the stairwell over there. This is the bedroom that Patrick and I want to use as our own. This floor, as you can see, it has remains of glue all over it. It had carpet that we pulled up. There's a whole video about that. Um, and we haven't had a chance to refinish the floor yet. But it also has this uh, amazing fireplace, again with the green tile, a little cabinet, a little window over here, and then this set of big windows that overlook the garden. And you can even see all the way across to the grounds of the castle. So this room is pretty big. It's a good size. Um, it's in quite a stripped back state right now. We took off the wallpaper already in this room. It was moldy and we needed to clean it up. And so we've done that. It's all, even though it does not look very clean, it is clean. There's no more smell. It's all dried out, aired out. So we will be moving back into this room um, when Patrick gets here. And so our friends will have that previous bedroom, the yellow one. And so in here is a bathroom, a shower cubicle, sink, bidet, toilet, and another window with a beautiful view. So when you come back out, if you go back down the hall, straight ahead is the fancy bedroom. We've been keeping the door shut. I keep this one closed so as not to let the ghosts out. Kidding, sort of, maybe. Um, no, but really we're keeping it closed because Patrick um, took down some cabinets pieces that he hasn't replaced yet. So it smells really dirty in here. Um, and the air quality is probably not great until we get those fixed again. So I've been keeping it closed. Um, there's a lot going on in this bedroom and you really should check out the video about it. So put that one up there on the screen. And then there's a tiny TARDIS bathroom back there. Why is it called the TARDIS? Watch this video. And that's the one we plan to renovate when he gets here in about a week and a half. Excited for that. And that's it. We've toured the whole house. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you're like me, you're really excited to see some after videos. Thanks for watching, y'all. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our next video.